Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a water marble to share with you. Um, I'm going to do a water marble with some of these Kiss polishes from the Dollar Tree. And Jan, this one's for you, girl. This is Kiss Gel Strong, and this one is in the color Routine. And then we also have Necessity. And then Inside Out. And then this dark shimmery purple is called Debut. D-E-B-U-T. Debut. So we're going to debut this one in here. So I've got my nails already prepped. I have started off with, as usual, my Nail Takes Formula 2. And on my thumb and my ring finger, I am wearing the lighter shade, the um, Routine. I'll be water marbling with that one. And then I'll also be water marbling, marbling with Debut, which is on my pointer finger. So pretty. And then this one is on my pinky finger, and it is called Necessity. And the last one I'll be water marbling with is Inside Out. So I'm going to get the caps open on these, and we're going to get to rocking. Alrighty, here we go. Let me get the camera positioned a little better. Or the water. <laughs> there we go. Today I'm using just a little glass candle holder I got from the Dollar Tree. I thought I would give this a try. Um, and I didn't mention, but I do have my two fingers I'm going to dip prepped with some liquid latex. And we're just going to go ahead and get started and build this bullseye. I always put my first drop in and run the toothpick around the cup or vessel to spread that polish out really well. And we're just going to put in one drop at a time and let it spread, stop spreading before we add our next drop. And I don't know how well this candle holder thing's going to work, but I figure let's just give it a try. Why not? I just decided I would go all purple today. Just rock it on out. I do love me some purple, so. And I did some playing with these, with well, with all the gel polishes from the Kiss brand that I had. Um, I did some playing with them today, and all of them seem to work well. The shimmery ones, the creams, they just all seem to work really nice in the water. They don't dry too fast, which is something you're looking for when you're water marbling. And I did one full round of all of them, and I'm going to probably get lucky and put just a couple of more drops in here. I believe we'll stop right there. Today I am using my little water marble tool that I got from, I believe it was Beauty Big Bang. And I just drew a line straight from the top to the bottom, and then I'm going to do one out to either side. Kind of makes a starburst pattern, and then we're going to draw in from the outside into the center. And I dip down, kind of make that polish grab hold of each other, and you know, clean it up a little bit. And I do believe that's where I'm going to leave this one today. So I'm going to try to find the spot I want. Going, and I know this is an awkward position. I'm going to dip down in, take it over to the side, and I hold the glass with my thumb and my ring finger. And like I said, these dry really slowly, so you might need to blow on the top of the water to get it to dry to where you can clean it all up. You definitely want to get all this up so that it don't land on top of your design and mess up what you're trying to do. I do have a little bubble in here. I'll pop it and dip it down in. And there we go. That is the thumb. And I am going to move this little cup out of the way so I don't knock it out and dump that water everywhere. I'm going to use this little toothpick and just run around and break that seal of the polish so I don't remove it. When I go to take my latex off. Alrighty, now for the tricky part getting the latex off without 
getting into my design. I'm using some little scissors just to kind of trim this up a little bit because I did go all the way around my thumb and then I'm going to use my little tweezers to grab hold of this and carefully remove it to reveal not much mess to clean up. Yes! Alrighty, we're going to move that cut back over here. We're going to do that one more time. I hope this video don't end up being too long. <laughs> I am just water marbling the two fingers, so hopefully it'll... Our uh, fingernails. Hopefully it didn't spill over into too long of a video. We're just going to do this just like we did last time. Water marbling is one of my favorite things to do. I wish I could do it every time I did my nails, but I don't always have time, so. There we go. Starting our second round of colors. That one's not done spreading yet. I do like to let them stop spreading so much before I do my next drop, because it will distort the bullseye a little bit. Okay, and we're going to do one more of this sparkly color, and then one more of this cream. Alrighty. Now break out that water marbling tool again. I'm going to go this way, and then this way. And I do clean my tool off in between as often as I can remember. Sometimes it's every swipe, and sometimes it's every other swipe, but a real rhyme or reason with me sometimes. Dip. Oop. That one kind of pulled a little bit. But that's okay. I do believe there's going to be plenty of spots. So, I think I'm going to turn this cup just a little bit so I can get where I want. I'm going for this flower one right, petal right here. Dip in. Start getting that excess polish up. And I am just using regular old tap water. But it's been sitting in a bottle for a little while. It is room temperature, I suppose. And there we go. I do have a little bit of bubbling on this one. We will address that. <laughs> First, I gotta get this latex off. Got the snipping done. Get this. There we go. Oh, I didn't run the toothpick around it. I got lucky. So, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and get Woody involved and get some of that excess polish up. There we go. Alrighty, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. I've done some cleanup with an, a cleanup brush and some acetone. Like I said, I've got um, a little bit of bubbling on this one, and I'm just going to take my finger and kind of press them down a little bit. The polish is still a little wet and um, it might not fix it, but there are so many ways to get around it. So I'm gonna top this one off with some Posh Top Coat. And if applying the top coat bursts those bubbles, I will show you another trick that I use. <laughs> we all got tricks, right? Well, okay, maybe we don't, but that's okay. and I'm going to cap my end. And we're going to break Woody out because I did get some top coat over here. So 
So there we go. A little bit of, little bit of dragon when that, I think that bubble right there popped. And I think it did a little bit of dragon, but you know what? That is okay. I will be right back and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to maybe salvage this one. We'll see. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to come back and do this fix-up thing I was talking about. This is another one of the Kiss polishes, and this one's called One In Only. And it's just kind of a little glitter bomb. So I've put a little piece, a little bit out here on this piece of tape. And I'm going to use that little dotting tool just because I have it out. And I'm just going to pick up little pieces of this. And dot it in where I can. This one's kind of starting to dry out and gets tacky. I just do little, little bitty glitter placements. Tell you what, let's get some more of this out because this has done gotten sticky. But you could, you know, use loose glitters or whatever, you know, or fish stuff out of other, you know, other ones, other polishes of yours. And you just, there doesn't have to be any rhyme or reason because, you know, when it comes down to it, when people are looking at your nails, they don't know what you were doing. You could always say, I meant to do that, you know. They don't know. And if you're doing stuff like this to your nails, you've already, you know, kind of gone above and beyond. But there we go. And that is what I do to cover up boo-boos. <laughs> Let me know what you do to cover up boo-boos. Or if you just get fed up and just take it off and start over. Because I don't like doing that. I like to save them if I can. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to top coat it and I will come back with my swatch photo. Be right back. Okay, I just can't leave well enough alone. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with that um, polish that I used for the dotting and the glitters. And I'm brushing a lot of it off the brush, but I'm just going in and doing kind of like a sloppy French tip of glitters just on the ends. And I just thought it would help tie the manicure together on these plain nails. Well, I say plain, they were beautiful, but, you know, just kind of did that just all freehand with the brush, you know. So, there we go. Now, I'm going to top coat them and call it to done. Alrighty, here is my final manicure. Sorry, I'm doing the claw pose. It's not the most beautiful, but I wanted to show you both the thumb and the ring finger as the accent nails. And look at that glittery goodness. I love it. I'm very, very happy with it. So, hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. If you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. That way I know. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.